First type of striving is avoiding evil. To what extent do you try to not sin? We all have our weaknesses, but you can't keep saying, I'm weak, I'm weak, throughout your whole life. This means that you do not want to stop sinning. Strive. Let us talk about when Joseph strived. To avoid sinning, Joseph nearly got himself imprisoned and executed. He is a real striver at a time when everybody sinned easily. So do you strive to not slip and say a denouncing word? Do you strive so that your mind would not think about bad thoughts? Or do you just say, I'm sorry, what is done is done? The situation makes a huge difference. Do you strive to avoid the act, not only the thought? Any sin starts with a thought then it turns into an act. So if you avoid the first, you will not face any test regarding the latter. However, if you do not manage to avoid the first, you will face a test regarding the latter. So at least try to pass the second test. Do not fall into sin. How many times have we regretted saying something that was unnecessary? Okay, do you still lie and say denouncing words like you used to do 10 years ago? This means that you do not strive. If there is no improvement, then you are not striving. You should exert effort to stop yourself from the sin that troubles you. If you do not exert some effort, then sin will not go away. And do not just say you'll stop sinning by God's grace. God's grace is bestowed upon those who strive.